Hello, it's me, DB, for all things brass and technology, and I'm in DB Studios. Welcome to the channel. Let me see, what I want to talk to you about today is the first four things that I do before I put the horn to my face or play the horn for the first time of the day. So these are going to be the first four things that I do before I put the horn to my face for the first time. All right, so let's get to it. But before we get to the video, let me play for you. Please remember, if you like this content and what I bring to the channel, please subscribe. Press the subscribe button. And if you wanna get notifications on every time I drop a new video, please press the notification bell. Let's get it. Okay, let's get to it. So the first step is this. I'll just start blowing air to get the flow, because it's all about flow, because we play a wind instrument. Okay, so I'll just take a full breath, fill up from the bottom of the lungs all the way up. So that's the first thing. I'll do that maybe for a minute. It's no meter, no time, just blowing air, just to get the flow going. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, I'll whistle. Low notes, high notes. You dig? What whistling does, it gets the tongue moving. There's everything in terms of connecting those registers is the inside of the mouth. That tongue level, when you hear a cat and he can't, you know, when you hear a younger student coming up and they're playing and they get what we call a lock. They're trying to get, they're doing lip flexibilities and it's trying to get to the next note. It's like, eh, 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 you Because that tongue is locked. You got to release that tongue and that tongue has to be like a snake. High, low, high, low. You dig? So what whistling will do is uh, we're still dealing with flow, but now, you know, we're dealing with that tongue level. So that's the second step. Okay, so the third step is buzzing. Buzzing the mouthpiece, okay? So um, basically, just buzz some notes, low, medium, and high. Now, when I buzz the mouthpiece, I usually use some type of buzzing aid. I have a few here, let me show you. I believe this is the Warburton Buzzard. I think it's called Buzzard, yeah. This is my favorite. Then I have another Warbenton, I believe, device, and it's called the APE. Yes. And then I have another one. This is called the Buzz R. The Buzz R. I just got this. I like it. 
I'm going to be doing a review on all. I think I have four or five of them. I'm going to be doing a review on those. But let's use the buzzard. Okay, so I just put it in there. And just play some low, medium, high notes. And then also a siren. Just like a siren, right? Here we go. Let me, let me deal with this. You dig? Just, just play some notes, relax, but keep the flow and try to make the buzz resonant. Because we want resonance in the sound, right? That's the siren. Okay, so I'll do this for maybe around a minute. And then uh, I'll move to the fourth step. Yes. So after mouthpiece buzzing, which is the third step, we go to the fourth step. Now, just going back to mouthpiece buzzing, you know, everything is just leading up to the horn. So, you know, with the mouthpiece, that's really the sound. And this is the amplifier. You dig? So... This fourth step is lead pipe buzzing. And, you know, Donald Byrd talked to me a little about lead pipe buzzing because he always carried a Bach lead pipe in his car. And he'd always be buzzing. We'd be driving and he'd be buzzing. But he really, he didn't go deep into it. So I never really adopted buzzing the lead pipe until I started studying with Bill Adams. And um, Mr. Adam was, you know, a big advocate of, uh, of uh, lead pipe buzzing. So basically, you know, you take the tuning slide out, boom, right? And, you know, as you know, this is a Schelke X3, beryllium bell. Uh, no, uh, I call these spit valves, that's what they call them. But I opted not to have them, and I asked... Shelky company and I'm a Shelky artist and I love Shelky um, to put a dump slide on the third slide right so I'm able to pull this out and this is an X3 and it usually you know I'm almost positive X3s don't come with a third valve um, dump slide and Shelky did that for me and I think it may be a one of a kind because you know the original design didn't have that and they kind of don't really like to mess around with the original designs, but I was lucky. <laughs> yeah, they, and they did it for me. Because I'm always emptying, you know, because I play with a pretty open aperture. So there's always a lot of condensation. So I'm always dumping, you know. So that's pretty much it. So we take the tuning slide out. And, um, you know, with the B-flat trumpet, when you buzz on the lead pipe, it usually produces a concert E flat F. It depends on the, you know, the length of the tuning slide, but, you know, usually concert E flat F written, right? And so what Mr. Adam told me was, it's buzzing the lead pipe is about sound. That's what he told me. Now, from studying with him, he tailored all his teachings differently per student because he always said that not every student needs all what he shows. If they're fine in one aspect of their playing, he, that's it. It's good, right? So he tailored his teaching to the student, which I think a great teacher would do. You dig? So... How I explain lead pipe buzzing, the way he taught it to me, may be different than uh, another Adams student. So me saying that, be 
cool and keep the peace. You dig? <laughs> you know? So this is how I go about it. I'm really focused on sound, making sure that it's resonant and making sure that I have flow. Now, I, however you, you interpret flow, accelerating the air or, you know, flow is just like once an airplane goes up and it gets in the air, it flows until it lands, right? So flowing through a phrase, we need airflow to play till the end of the phrase and we retake our breath and we flow. That's how I see flow. So I'm trying to get a nice resonant sound and for the sound to speak, right? Now I may do this, I don't know, eight, 12 times, and then I rest for five minutes, then I start my one hour daily routine or warm up for a gig or recording session. But listen, let me share this with you. Let's hear from the master teacher himself, Mr. Bill Adam, talking about the lead pipe. Let's get it. We don't think of when you say a buzzing a lead pipe. Mm -hmm. We're only thinking about the sound. Okay. But you're not buzzing your lips. Okay, so the, the purpose of buzz, buzzing the lead pipe is to get the tone, the sound. Yeah. There's not any type of warm up. No. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Yep. And just like that, boom. See that? Here at All Things Brass and Technology, we try to bring you the information. You dig? All I want you to do is subscribe. You know, and uh, tell some friends. Spread the word. Come on over to All Things Brass Technology, where we talk about all things brass and all things technology. And uh, subscribe and enjoy. Listen, my name is DB. In the place to be, always come to faithfully straight down the middle for all things brass and technology. I hope you really enjoyed this episode of the first four things I do before I put the horn to the face. Thank you for watching. See you soon.